YouTube shooting, woman wounds three before killing herself, police say. Three people were injured by gunfire, one of them critically, in a shooting at YouTube's headquarters in San Bruno, California, on Tuesday afternoon. The shooter, who the police said was a woman, died from an apparently self-inflicted gunshot wound. President Trump has been briefed and tweeted thoughts and prayers to the victims. Here is the latest information on the shooting. Three victims are shot Chief Ed Barberini of the San Bruno Police Department said at a news conference that three victims had been transported with gunshot wounds. He had previously indicated that there were four shooting victims, the discrepancy stemmed from the fact that at least one person was injured while fleeing the building but not shot. The gunshot victims were taken to Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital the only level one trauma center in San Francisco. Brent Andrew, a spokesman for the hospital, said at a news conference that a 36-year-old man was in critical condition, a 32-year-old woman in serious condition and a 27-year-old woman in fair condition. Sundar Pichai, the chief executive of Google, which owns YouTube, said in a statement late Tuesday afternoon that Google was doing everything we can to support them and their families at this time. Dr. Andre Campbell, a trauma surgeon at San Francisco General, told reporters Tuesday afternoon that the injuries did not appear to have been inflicted by an AK-47 or AR-15 type weapon. But he lamented the continuing frequency of mass shootings. You'd think that after we've seen Las Vegas, Parkland, the Pulse nightclub shooting, that we would see an end to this, Dr. Campbell said. But we have not. A suspect is dead the police found a woman, believed to be the shooter, dead inside the building from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. At a news conference around 2.30 p.m., Chief Barberini said the police were searching the building in a slow, methodical manner and had not ruled out the possibility of a second shooter. However, he said there was no information to suggest that there's somebody else in there. The gender of the suspect was noteworthy because mass shootings are almost always perpetrated by men. An FBI study released in 2014 found that, from 2000 to 2013, women were responsible for only 6 of 160 mass shootings in the United States. The shooter's name had not been released as of Tuesday evening, and her motivations were not known. Gunshots, then a stampede to the exits when the police arrived, two minutes after receiving 911 calls, they had to wade through YouTube employees fleeing the building. Many employees interviewed outside said they had initially thought the episode was a fire drill. Others said they ran when people started shouting that there was a shooter. Zach Voorhees, 37, a senior software engineer at YouTube, said in an interview that he had been sitting at his desk when the fire alarm went off, and that he grabbed his electric skateboard and headed for the back exit. As he rode down a gravel hill, he said, he heard someone shouting and saw a man lying motionless in one of the office's outdoor dining areas. He had a red spot on his stomach, and he was lying on his back, not moving. Mr. Voorhees said. I saw the blood soak through the shirt. About 25 feet away from the victim, he said, a heavy set man wearing grey was shouting, come at me. Mr. Voorhees thought the man was the shooter, but he did not see a gun, and said it was possible the man had actually been taunting the shooter. The dining area can be reached from an adjacent parking structure without an employee badge, Mr. Voorhees said in a nearby parking lot to which 200 or so employees had evacuated, armed police officers waded into the crowd. The police asked for employees who had witnessed something firsthand to come forward, and about two dozen people, some visibly distraught, walked over to the officers. Vadim Lavruzic, a YouTube employee who formerly worked for the New York Times, tweeted just before 1 p.m. that there was an active shooter at YouTube HQ and that he had heard shots and saw people running while at my desk. 
He said that he was barricaded inside a room with co-workers, but moments later tweeted that he had been safely evacuated. The president has been briefed by 2.15 p.m., President Trump had been briefed on the shooting, and Cameron Rogers Polin, a spokeswoman for the San Francisco Division of the FBI, said in an email that the agency was in contact with the San Bruno police. The San Francisco Division of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives tweeted that it, too, was responding to the shooting. Google, which owns YouTube, said on Twitter that it was working closely with authorities to evacuate the buildings and ensure the safety of employees in the area. The company said it had advised all Bay Area employees not already at the office to stay away. Rattled by a mass shooting in their midst, several Silicon Valley giants tweeted their concern, and acknowledged the role their own platforms have played in spreading false information during this and many other shootings. We're also aware of the misinformation being spread on Twitter, Jack Dorsey, the chief executive of Twitter, tweeted. We're tracking, learning, and taking action.